What is up guys? It's Sunday. I just got off work. Yo, I am dead tired. Last night I went to Richmond where it's like all the bars and clubs are located. I didn't go to the bar or club myself. Um, I actually went to Street Perform. The turnout was amazing. I saw tons of familiar faces, met some new homies, but on top of all of that, I made like more than $35 in one night, which is the most I've ever made. So it was super cool and it was also just super fun. Um, I hit up the dispensary. So we got a gram of mad mango and then a gram of dank berry. I'm kind of in a ranty mood. Um, I tried to make a video on this topic before but I never released it so I'm gonna do it right now. And that topic is just protecting your peace. Yeah, people have expectations of you and those expectations are not always the reality. I know some people who go out to events, you know, they get invited to like parties or events or bars in the clubs and they don't want to go. But for whatever reason, they don't know how to say no or they feel like as if by them saying no, they're going to hurt their feel other people's feelings. And so they do themselves a disservice and they still go, knowing they don't want to go. Protecting your peace. Another example is if you get messages or DMs or text messages, whatever, like, man, if you're not in a good mindset or a good place or you're busy at the moment, you know, maybe, maybe even a day or two before you message them back. But like, that's okay. That is fine. There's no, there's nothing that says, oh, yo, I have to reply to them ASAP. And the way I like to look at it, as soon as something is stressing you out or is bringing you your mood down or affecting you negatively, as soon as it does you a disservice, Take a step back and just simply protect your peace. You know, maybe even just like taking a shift at work. You're like, oh, I feel bad because they asked me, so oh, I'm going to do it. But nah, man, like if you work six days that week, this is your only day off. Protect your peace. Have that day to yourself. And this just goes for everything. These are all just examples. Even if you have a service that you do for people, whatever it might be. Um, if your client's like, hey, I need this by Monday, but obviously you know your work, you know what it takes, and you know the progress more than they would. And so if they're like, hey, I need this in three days, we'll say Monday, but in all reality, you know that to, to produce your best work and to make the client happy and to be proud of what you are presenting them, it's going to take longer than that. Maybe it's going to take five days compared to the three days. So just speak up, communicate that to them, and let them know the reason why and be like, hey, this piece will be way better. I will not have to rush it. And the end goal and end product will be exactly what you wanted, if not better. But there's no way I can produce that and make that happen in three days. So I need to have, or I need to let you know it's gonna take longer than that. It's gonna take five days. And for any of these situations, you know, if they're, if they're a friend, a homie, um, or even a client who likes your work, who's a fan of your work, they should all understand. Friends should understand if you don't have the energy to go out. You know, people should understand if you're not in the right mindset to uh, reply to the message right there and then, you know. Um, the client should understand, like, well, obviously he knows his process better than anyone and he knows what it takes to get to that end result. Because as long as you don't mean no in ill intent, you did nothing wrong. And so if they want to get butthurt about it, get their panties in a bunch, yo, that's all on them man so yeah guys you know next time one of these situations or maybe even another one that I didn't even mention comes up and you don't have the energy or it's affecting you negatively just protect your peace communicate with them but protect your peace because that's the thing too when you take care of yourself then you can start giving to other people you know going to events and hanging out with friends that you don't want to hang out with if you force yourself to do that, you know, you're not even giving your full self. You might not even be present. Your mind might be elsewhere thinking about other stuff that you should be doing or you got to do rather than really being present and giving all yourself in, in that present moment. And so by taking care of yourself and protecting your peace, it's actually lets you honor other people and, you know, reply or act or be at a service at your best possible your best possible form but the only way you're able to do that is by protecting your peace it's kind of cliche but it's true you really can't make anyone everyone happy and i think that's where this stems from people who just try to be people pleasers but they forget the number one person that they have to take care of is themselves it's not selfish by taking care of yourself so you're able to give to other people then your cup is full and you're able to pour your cup and fill other people's cup 
up. But if you don't even fill up your cup, how are you going to fill up and bring other people up with you? It's that simple. Love you guys. Much love. Till next time, attack the day and protect your peace.